<laughs> well, the decision from the VA's, my claim, my 1151 uh, arrived. And um, the opening page says, Compensation for sacroiliac injury and degenerative disc disease with degenerative arthritis of the spine is granted with an evaluation of 20%. Um, and it goes on further to say that the arthritis was founded because of uh, x-rays. I don't ever remember being told or reading in my x-rays that I had arthritis of the spine, degenerative arthritis of the spine. Um, I've never had such an x-ray. And um, this had really nothing to do with that regardless. And when this 1151 was filed, uh, there was no x-ray, further x-rays done. Um, pertaining to the spine at all. And uh, the only thing was that my SI joint was damaged during surgery. And so where, where all this other degenerative stuff is coming from, I don't know. But I'm going to go back through all my x-rays. Um, the last x-ray I had was a couple years ago, and all it did was show some hip impingement. And it was just an x-ray on the hip. It wasn't on the back as far as I could tell. But uh, I don't recall. I remember one of those dumb interns saying something about about degeneration, and I was really pissed off because this isn't as a result of degeneration. This is a result of, you know, how my body was positioned during surgery. So then on page three, it says... Um, You know, functional loss due to pain, fatigue, and weakness, lack of endurance, and coordination of flare-ups um, have been considered and applied. Um, and, you know, range of motion, of course, shot. And then it says uh, specifically pertaining to uh, the VA's part in all this. It does say that um, this was part of the reasons for decision. You developed sacroiliac injury inflammation condition due to prolonged position of the legs and the straps during your ablation procedure. Um, whatever 20% and, and and I wasn't even really figuring on a percentage I don't know like I I didn't expect that from uh the 1151 I clearly didn't understand what what, what this was going to do for me or not for me but I was hoping that this would uh kind of push the VA to do MRI to zero in and specifically go look at that whole area and see what's going on or that this would give me the ability to go pick and choose anybody I wanted to pick and choose to go to do you know some to look at all of this um, or that they would have awarded uh, like you do <coughs> when you sue a doctor you know, um, pain and suffering, um, loss of mobility, you know, malpractice. Um, and any kind of money awarded would have enabled me to go pay cash for a doctor. You know, let somebody else figure it out. Let somebody else work on it. So that didn't happen. Um, the twenty percent doesn't really affect my my compensation anyway because of the unemployability. Um, 
So basically all it is is a piece of paper that says you were strapped into this for a prolonged period of time and your SI joint is now messed up. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, the Mission Act, my primary care doctor was supposedly requested uh, use of the Mission Act for my um, colonoscopy so I don't have to go all the way to West LA. What a nightmare. And for pain management. Well, I got a call today uh, scheduling, wanting to know about my scheduling preferences for the gastro into the gastro the, for the, uh, you know, the uh, colonoscopy. And when I asked her about the pain management, we're going to work on that too. Um, she said there was no request for that. And she looked further and saw that there was a request for cardiology and it was rejected and sent back. Why is getting any kind of help with pain management such a fucking problem with the VA? It's one of the most in-demand clinics. And it's so fucking messed up. Pardon my swearing, but I'm just so pissed off. Like, nothing goes smoothly in life. Nothing's easy. And then something like this happens. Like, my back is my main priority. I don't care if I have a colonoscopy. I really don't give two shits about that. No pun intended. My back is a priority. As my health spirals out of control. As my mental status spirals out of control. My back is key to all of that. To my health and mental wellness. That's my priority. So, uh, Monday, or maybe even later today, I'm just going to send an email to my primary care and let her know um, that someone submitted for cardiology. It should have been pain management. So, in the meantime... Because a pain management call from West LA, I went ahead and made that appointment because I don't know anything about the rest of this stuff. Mission Act, if it's going to work, they screwed up, and I'm glad I made that appointment because um, they messed up. So anyway, there's the wonder of the uh, the claim process. There it is. There's the letter, and here's the rest of it. It's like a bunch of pages long, you know, so much for conserving paper. And there's just, you know, there's just a, a lot of stuff in here is unnecessary. Um, but, you know, they got to include all that liability. They have to. So, um, really frustrated, and... Um, I'm going to go to the park and watch the sunset or some shit because I'm I'm really, really frustrated about all this, especially after hearing that they set me up for cardiology. Cardiology. Of everything, there's not a goddamn thing wrong with my heart. Anything else I would have accepted. So, and I'm supposed to start at the vet center. This, uh, we're supposed to go real deep into my... PTSD and I think that's weighing on me heavy that's weighing on me hard like just to know that I'm we're going to approach that I've tried several times but so I'm just kind of irritated time to go watch the sunset on some ducks